All right, so let us try to solve this math problem. This math problem is coming from an SAT reviewer, and I'm going to teach you how to solve this. It is something related to, it's like a, a number problem, but it's kind of tricky. But before that, um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel at the end of this video if you think that you have learned something from this. So, uh, how do we solve this? So, uh, let's analyze the problem first. We have f if x is an odd integer divisible by 3, which of the following must be divisible by 4? a x plus 1, b x plus 2, c x plus 3, or d 2x minus 2. So, the answer for this is is 2x minus 2. So how do we get the 2x minus 2? So again, it, this, this is the, the condition that the x is an odd integer divisible by 3. So then which of the following is must be divisible by, by 4? So you might think, how about a? a is, um, let's say x is 3, for example, because 3 is an odd number, it's also divisible by 3. And if you replace it with, uh, with 3 here, 3 plus 1 is, is 4, and 4 is divisible by 4. But then it's not true to all numbers, because if we are going to use 9 as x, 9 is divisible by 3, and it's an odd integer, then it's going to be like this 9 plus 1 is 10 and 10 is not divisible by 4 so it has to be true to all numbers which are odd integer that is divisible by 3 so uh, we cannot use that by using specific number but uh, the best thing to do is to make it in general form so let's let's write x as a general number where it represents all the odd integer divisible by 3. So first is if I'm going to, how, how do we write um, an odd number? So before we figure it out, let's identify first how do we write an even number. So an even number must be divisible by 2. So um, to make a number divisible by 2, you have to times it with 2. Like for example, uh, 3. 3 is not divisible by 2. To make it divisible by 2, you times it with 2. So it's 6. So this is now divisible by 2. So if you have 5, 5 is not divisible by 2, it times it with 2, it will become 10. So it's not divisible by 2. So the same thing here. So if we assign, an, uh, if we're going to use a letter M for any kind of number, as long as it's an integer, and we're going to times it with 2. So this x, which is 2m, where m is any integer, is now an even number. But what we are after is odd. So to make it odd, you add, add 1. So just like this, in our previous example, if you add 1 here, it, it's now 7. If you add 1 here, it's now 11. So it will go back to an odd number. So how about if we have an even, if we put even, let's say even number, like Oh, sorry, 4. So if you times it with 2, it's still even, but we add 1, so it's 9. So we make sure that the x is always odd number, whether you put an even or odd in the, the variable m. So we are now sure that this is an odd number. Whatever m that you're going to replace with whatever integer that you're going to replace with, it, with m. So now, how to make sure that that is divisible by 3? So how to make a number divisible by 3 in the first place? So like, for example, 4. 4 is not divisible by 3. To make it divisible by 3, we're going to times it with 3. So now it's 12, so it's now divisible by 3. For example, um, 7. 7 is not divisible by 3. Times it with 3 to make it divisible by 3, so it's now 21. So 21 is divided, divisible by 3. So the idea is just multiplying a number 
So that it's divisible by 3. Even if the number is already divisible by 3, like let's say for example 6 is divisible by 3, but if you times it with 3, it will still be a divisible by 3 number. So any number will always become divisible by 3 if you times it with 3. So the same thing here, since we want to make sure that the x is an odd and divisible by 3, we're going to times this by 3, 3 times 2m plus 1. So that is, it's an odd and it's divisible by 3. So, so we're gonna we're gonna times three times two m plus one. But uh, to to simplify this, I'm gonna distribute this three because uh, we have a distributive property where we can distribute the uh, one term into the two terms. This is two terms because it's separated by a plus sign, and then so to distribute that we multiply the three. So. Um, 3 times 2m is 3 times 2 is 6 and then copy the m and 3 times 1 is 3 so just copy the 3 and then the plus so the x is represented by 6m plus 3 that is an odd number divisible by 3 any number that you replace in m is always a number that is an odd and divisible by 3 like for example 6 times 0 plus 3, that's 0 plus 3 is 3. Um, 6 times 5, for example, plus 3. So 6 times 5 is 30, plus 3 is 33. So it's always an, uh, an odd number which is divisible by 3. All right, so now how are we going to check that um, the, any of these choices are divisible by 4 when x is an odd divisible by 3? So let us remove first this uh, computation and just we'll just transfer the x that is an odd number divisible by 3. Again, this is odd and divisible by 3. So let's check the letter A. So I'll just use another color for that. So A. So how do we first, uh, how do we check if it's divisible by 4? So you will know if it's divisible by 4 if you can if you can take out a 4 from that number. So like for example, 8. So 8 is divisible by 4. How did we know it's divisible by 4? Because it's 4 times 2. So there is a number, we call it factor, that is taken out from 8. Like for example, 16. 16 is divisible by 4 because we can write it as 4 times 4. So we have a 4 here. And um, let's say 12. 12. 12 is divisible by 4 because we can write it as 4 times 3. So we have a 4 here. But uh, for example, let's say 7 number is not divisible by 4. So for example, 21. So 21 is 3 times 7. So there's no 4 here. So it's not divisible by 4. So as long as we can factor out the 4 from that number, then it's divisible by 4. So that's what we are after here. We There should be a 4 taken out. So here it's x plus 1. And it says that x is 6m plus 3. So we're going to replace that with 6m plus 3. And then copy the plus 1. So this whole thing here is the x. 6m plus 3. And then just copy the plus 1. Then we're going to combine the plus 1 and plus 3, so it's going to be 6m plus 4. And then we cannot factor out a 4 from 6m plus 4 because there's nothing common for 4. There is a 4 here. There's a 4, but this is not divisible by 4. It should be the two terms should be divisible by 4 to factor out. So this is the a cannot be the answer. For letter, uh, the, for letter B, that's x plus 2. So we're going to replace x by the, the one that we have come up, which is 6m plus 3, which means it's an odd integer divisible by 3, and then copy the plus 2. So we're going to do the same procedure, just combine the 3 and 2, so 6m plus 5. 
All right, so this is worse than the letter A because we cannot, there's no four in here. We cannot take out the four. So just, um, I'll just remove that. So I'll just use another color for the cross, uh, for marking it wrong. So, and then we're gonna continue letter C. So C is X plus three. So we're gonna replace X with six M plus three, and then the plus three. So combine the three and three, which is six M plus six. All right, so we have a common divisor, with six and six, I mean a common number. So we can actually factor out six, although it's unnecessary, but we'll just do it just to show you that how factoring works. So we take out the six and six outside the parentheses. So what's left is you divide six M divided by six is just M and six divided six is one. So that means if you're going to if you're going to to distribute this six, it will go back to to this six m plus six six times m is six m six times one is six. So the question is, is it divisible by four? It's not because there's no four in here. But it, we know that it's divisible by six because the, we have a six outside. But that's what we are looking for. But uh, I mean that's not what we are looking for. It's divisible by four so now let's move to the the d which is the one that i have told you that it's the right answer so why is it the right answer so let's write this 2x minus 2 so we have two times um the x is 6m plus 3 and then the minus 2 so we'll just copy it so you basically uh, replace this x into this 6m plus 3 because it's this that we have um, set that x is an odd integer divisible by 3. So we simplify this further. We distribute the, the 2. So let us distribute this 2 so that it will be multiplied inside the parentheses. 2 times 6 is 12. And then copy the m and then 2 times 3 is 6 and then we just simply copy the minus 2 so 12 m um sorry i'll i have used another color for this so I'll just put it back to the same color so it's 12 m plus 6 and then copy the minus 2 and then we can combine the 6 and the minus 2 so 12 m so 6 minus 2 is 4 or positive 4. Now we have 12 and 4 which are both divisible by 4. So we can take out the 4 outside the parentheses. So what's left is 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 3m and 4 divided by 4 is positive 1. So that if you if you are going to distribute back the 4, it should go back to this. So 4 times 12, I mean 4 times 3 is 12 or 12m. 4 times 1 is 4. So the factored form for that is 4 times 3m plus 1. So we have this 4 outside the parentheses. That means this, this expression is a number that is divisible by divisible by 4, considering that the x is an odd divisible by 3. So that's how you solve it.